So sometimes you take on a project and it's a lot and it's more than you thought and it's harder than you thought and you kind of realize that you might have to call it quits. You might have to throw in the towel. And as you dive farther in, you really have to make that decision kind of early on um, and figure things out. Well, I don't know how to make that decision and I don't know where to go with that. Uh, this project's turned into a lot and let me show you what's happened. Uh, there's a reason these, uh, it's been a couple of days since I've had this uh, update, but uh, here, let's, let's go look. So when we started doing that, the plan was to take these beautiful plaster walls and make them and these ceilings and kind of bring them back and restore them. Here's the reality. I got into these plaster walls. I stripped a bunch of them down to plaster and then started to repair them. I tried three or four different ways and the reality is, is it wasn't happening. So, I called a bunch of people, I talked to a bunch of people, I video Skyped, I called and talked to some experts, and then talked to some friends, and the reality is, we're tearing it all the way down to two by fours and putting sheetrock on. So this is the dining room. So why are we doing that? Well, a good friend of mine really put some things into perspective and really made a point. And what was said was basically the plaster is never going to get better. It's only going to get worse. It just can't get better. It's impossible, which makes a lot of sense. And the other point was if we tear it all the way down, it's more work now, maybe a little more money, but when you calculate it in labor, if you had to pay someone or anything else, um, it probably balances out, but I get to put electrical outlets where I want them. I can wire the house for things like networking. I can put in things like air conditioning, heated floors. Um, I can check all the ducting. We can balance the AC. Like we can basically make this everything it could be. The hard part is, and here's what we've got to do. And that is to maintain the character of the home. Because that's really where the home comes from. It's the character of the home. So what is the character of the home in here? It's all these gorgeous, gorgeous sidings. It's these headboards. It's all that stuff, that ornate, that beautiful detail that really builds the character. So we're going to keep all that. Uh, as we turn it down, we're saving all that. However, we started to run into a small problem. If you look around, you'll see... All of these walls are bare. Now, that means we had to tear them out and they have to go somewhere. Now, guess what I can't get right now? That's a dumpster because of everything that's going on. So, had to do some scrambling to figure out how do you get rid of what is quite literally tons and tons of debris if I can't get our dumpster here. Well, anybody that knows me knows that I don't really go halfway with anything. I will show you what I did. I bought a dump truck. That's a 1980 Chevy 3500 with a 454 big block. And that is actually a dump bed. So it just tilts all the way up. Amazing. One of the best things I could have ever gotten. Super easy. I drive it to the dump. They weigh it. I drive in. I open the back, tilt it back. It all falls out and comes out. The really cool thing is I've already got a buyer lined up for whenever the project's over, if I want to sell it. The other nice thing is it's a 12 foot bed. These are 10 foot ceilings. So we're probably going to use 12 foot drywall. So now I'm going to pay a delivery fee. So I got a dump truck. I'm taking walls all the way down to two by fours. We're going to rewire the whole house with all the right stuff. And here's why we're rewiring and I love it. I think it's beautiful, but this is knob and tube. It's super, super, super dangerous. That, that wiring can get really, really hot and cause fires. Um, it's been in here 110 years, 120 years. Hasn't caused a fire yet, but 
that's up there. It's got to go. Um, we need to get this thing so we can move it a little better. So we're going to upgrade and go a little beyond. Cool things we've been finding, though. Right, so in addition to this knob and tube, if you look over here, this is where that beautiful chandelier was. You see that pipe? That's gas or oil. So that you could have gas and oil lighting in this house. You flipped a switch, it made some sparks, actually it was a knob, and whatever you had it. And so over here, we've got another one. And this sweet little sign, because these wires, these, whoops, these two wires, they're live. And they were hidden inside the wall when I got in there. Hidden, just hidden inside, just hanging out. And that, again, is another gas pipe. So, that's the thing. We're gonna tear this place all the way down to studs, insulate it with the good stuff, wire it with the good stuff, reinstall all the beautiful siding. Maybe it's gonna get new windows. Maybe I'm gonna stick with some of these. I'm diving further into them. All the lighted glass is staying. That's just gonna to have to happen because it's gorgeous um, regardless. So that's all staying. So stay tuned. I'll be back. Um, I'm super happy, super excited. I have like a really strong plan forward and I like it a lot better. Uh, so it's gonna be fun and it's gonna let us know what their whole house looks like. So that's the days. Hopefully I'll be able to get one of these out to you guys every day um, now that I've got this uh, whole thing going forward.